Uh, are we still on the journey? <laughs> you know it. Up, let's pull up. Get comfortable. Come chill with me. Hey, we about to go back to the 90s. Let's get to it. It's more than a statement. It's a way of life. Celebration. The Mr. Jackson talking. <laughs> right now, I'm like in this weird era where it's kind of like a movie. Um, it's called League of Their Own. I haven't seen it yet, but I do plan on watching it and uh, giving a review. And um, yeah, it's really been no new music, but from what I've been seeing, this has been her most uh, kind of like really the peak. Um, just her popularity and fame and uh, perhaps her career. Again, I don't know yet. We'll find that out, but it seems to be pretty big because, again, um, she hasn't really released a full album. She had a greatest hits album that had Justify My Love as a single. Um, and then, of course, we had the tour, and, uh, yeah, so now we're here. So, speak about the tour, I got to meet, um, Madonna's whole crew in the documentary, like you guys did in the 90s, <laughs> called Tooth and Dare. So, uh, let's see what, uh, my boy Chris, shout out to him, shout out to D. Taylor, sent me over some videos and stuff. So, uh, this is from a talk show, um, Geraldo, alright, let's check it out. So nice, you know. <laughs> it's intro. That mustache, whoa. <laughs> the run. <laughs> the khakis. <laughs> All right, I saw that kiss. He's doing like the dude from the old family feud, uh, Richard Dawson. Anyway, <laughs> uh, one thing I love about these talk shows from like the 90s and 80s, the audience were so diverse um, in most of them, which is cool. And I hope it's one of those situations where they pass around that microphone asking real questions because I feel like 90s talk shows is like the most raw and uncut. All right, anyway, let's go. She's the only woman in the world, maybe, who makes headlines when she changes the color of her hair. When she arrived in Italy to perform a concert, she commanded the attention and scrutiny of none other than the Pope himself. The lightning rod for her latest controversy, as you know, is the movie Truth or Dare. It's a part documentary, part concert video from her completed Blonde Ambition tour. Who is this woman causing all the commotion? Who's that girl causing a commotion? Y'all like that? <laughs> Only the most idolized and sometimes vilified woman on this planet. That material girl, Madonna. Well, she's certainly getting what she wants, attention and money. Stay tuned because Madonna Madness, the maverick, the movie star. That's my girl. Shout out to Susan. <laughs> the manipulator is the focus of this edition of Rome. <laughs> really? This is the that I use? Madonna Madness, the maverick, the movie star, the manipulator. <laughs> Sounds like a tell-all, right? <laughs> Yes, why do you think everything and shout out to y'all drop the comments below i know during this era there had to be some kind of tell-all book written right like i don't know if i'm gonna find time to read it but i know it had to be one anyway let's go <laughs> and madonna's life attracts so much attention from her up to the minute steamy music videos to her romances with sean and warren this woman seems to live her entire life on a world stage take a look at this revealed her deepest secrets and most private thoughts, our first guests are two of the men who started the Vogue craze. They are Madonna's lead dancers, also okay. featured in the Shout Truth to or Dare. You'll see some of their incredible Jose and Luis. live on our stage later in the broadcast. This is Luis and Jose. Come on out. All right. In the film. We'll talk about how they really played Truth or Dare. Our next guest has been singing and dancing with Madonna for the past four years. You'll recognize her from the Truth or Dare movie again, the concerts, the Madonna video she has started. She now has her own hot video climbing the charts. Welcome, Nikki Harris, folks. All right, Nikki. <laughs> so pretty. Okay. 
Our next guest is the chief entertainment correspondent for MTV News. He's the former editor of Rolling Stone magazine, author of Bat Chain Puller, Rock and Roll in the Age of Celebrity. Madonna talked with him about her family, Sean Penn, Michael Jackson, and others. Here is Kurt Loader. Come on out, Kurt. Thank <laughs> you, Sean. <laughs> oh, yeah, he was on the, uh, in, in Bed with Madonna interview, right? We have also introduced... Two guests who share a much different opinion of Madonna. They describe her not as a pop star, but as a pornographer who condones extramarital affairs, premarital sex, and other perverted relationships. They represent a national organization called Morality in Media. This is Patty McAtee and the president of the group, Joseph Riley. Equal time, equal applause. Come on. <laughs> In the front row, Junior Vasquez, a New York disc jockey who spins records at Madonna's parties. Uh, she likes him, and he'll tell us why, I guess. Uh, what? Okay, Jose and Louis, uh, how did you... Uh, first of all, is she a woman that pushes people's buttons in the way... Uh, in the Jose gave me, like, Sammy Davis vibes with his mustache, right? Right, me, let's go. The way she states, did she push your buttons, Louis? Yeah. She pushed my buttons. Um, from the first time that I saw her, she pushed my buttons. What did she do? Um, well, from the first time I saw her, you can tell that she's a woman who radiates power and authority, and she's about, like, this big, so... so she's it's kind she's of a little person. <laughs> so when you see her, she just has, like, a big smile on her face, and those piercing eyes just, like, go through you, like... It's amazing how, how the authority that she just carries naturally... Did she treat you, uh, Jose, uh, as a kind of in a bitchy way? Well, yeah, kind of. <laughs> she was, like, really to the point, really forward, you know, but... Did she ever embarrass you? Yeah, sometimes, <laughs> once in a while, yeah, she has. Well, was but, it I, a, but I've looked for it, you know. Was it a pleasant experience then or an unpleasant experience working with her? It was a very pleasant experience working with her, definitely. Despite all that? Yeah. Now, Nikki, tell me about Madonna. Do you All right, boom, I'm going to pause it. All right, part one. That's why I got a little battery. Now, look at that. Y'all know I got slow internet <laughs> right now. So, also, I just want to make sure y'all knew I was alive and, you know, out here thriving. So, <laughs> anyway, y'all drop the comments down below. We're going to finish this coming up soon. It's going to be in part. Sorry about that. But, hey, blame it on, I guess, these trees. I don't know. But, anyway. Drop the comments down below. Don't give me no spoilers about this interview. Let's just talk. I think we got a lot to talk about in this last seven minutes, right?